Joe Phantomaniacs, welcome to the newest unboxing here on the Needless Things YouTube channel. Today we are taking a look at Tiger Force Roadblock and Tripwire and McLeod. Uh, fresh from Target, they got here very, very quickly. I canceled my Pulse pre-order. Sorry, Pulse, that's what we do. And I'm excited about these. I think they look great. Yeah, I've got plenty of Roadblocks. And, and honestly, one Tripwire is probably plenty. But I just love this deco. I love this look. And once I get him out of here, I think I'm going to strip all of the extra padding off. Keep him very, very basic looking so he looks more like the original Tiger Force figure. Uh, and looks significantly different from the tripwire that I've got on the shelf. So let's open it up and get going. Nice little diorama on the back here. And I kind of appreciate that they made a more generic watchtower because if they'd done something that looked more like the actual real American hero watchtower, people would be like, ooh, the watchtower is coming. And then they, you know, when that thing cost a hundred bucks, because I believe that's about what it would cost, uh, it'd be like a hundred dollars for a watchtower? Boo! Because that's how we are. I've already talked about uh, in the last few re uh, few reviews that I have done how much I love the new packaging. Uh, so I'll say it again here: I love the new packaging. I think it is it is perfection, modern toy perfection. The window is great, uh, the graphics, the gloss, the matte, everything about it. It is exactly what packaging should be. However, having said that, the new trays are way too rigid and difficult to deal with. So let's let's fix that and then we'll we'll uh move on. Look at this jam packed with accessories. Uh I am fairly certain I'm going to give this to uh Heavy Artillery Roadblock who currently has the Action Soldiers Modus. Um and I might give that one to him because I think he'll look better with the lighter colored version. But we'll see. That's that's all stuff you may find out on Audible Interlude Podcast on Instagram or Needless Things Channel on Instagram. Uh, I don't I don't really ever do any kind of like follow up videos unless there's something egregious. Uh, I'll just if I make alterations, I'll I'll put them up there or. If it's still around, because I'm making some decisions right now, audiblearmy.com. Uh, that's the first place to see everything uh, that Needless Things does that's G.I. Joe related. What is that thing? Oh, right, right, okay. It's the handle for the modus. I just love, when I, was, when I was a kid, well, not even when I was a kid, Tiger Force was after I got out of Joe. And for years, I didn't like Tiger Force because I saw it as, oh, these are just ugly repaints of the figures I had when I was a kid. I'm not interested. And, and I, I mean, I thought it was stupid. Uh, and now, I love Tiger Force because I love things that look good on the shelf, that are colorful, that make great looking toys. And classified Tiger Force is all of that. Especially once you get them all together and they just look like a unit. Now, if this was any other toy line, one of my complaints would be, oh, these yellows don't match. But if you go back to the original Tiger Force, they had a lot of variants in their colors and designs and everything, so I'm not really worried about it. Ooh, the only problem with taking off Tripwire's extra padding here is then he loses his holster. However, I have extra holsters. As a matter of fact, okay, I'm going to... I think this should slide right off. I've got an extra holster sitting right here because I've got a stalker that I got from Ollie's for $5 uh, that I am not going to be using. So let's just see how this looks. Like I said, I want to uh, strip 
these down or strip this tripwire down anyway. Ooh, this one might be a little more snug than the left one. If I can just get to where I can hang on to the swivel. There we go. There we go. Okay. So yeah, I I want him like that. Well, I want those gone too. I guess before I review anything, apparently I'm just going to take him apart. Uh, I do think these pieces look good, and I do think they should be, like for, from a selling the figure perspective, I think they should be on there because they're, you know, they're, they're classified E. I wouldn't want them to have not come on the figure because I like customization options. I like being able to play around with stuff like this. Uh, so just to get a closer look, these are essentially the, the same as what came on the first classified tripwire. Uh, and then these have that nice green deco on them, which almost makes me want to leave them on him. And uh, I don't have these on my original classified tripwire. But they're not on... I don't know. We'll see. I'll think about those. But I'm going to put them to the side for now. Let's grab Stalker here, who I... Oh, but see, then I have to give Tripwire this. And I was also thinking this is a little more gray than it is. This is green. I've got a holster I can give him, though. I'll, I'll find one. It'll happen. Uh, okay. So for now, I prefer this look for this Tripwire. Stripped down, a little more basic. Uh, I actually wish his armor here had a little lower profile to it but but whatever it's fine it looks good the deco looks absolutely fantastic although it's kind of funny you know in the original figure this was all just this gray color and now this looks like a pair of briefs because of these designs right here the sculpt right here uh, let's get that helmet off and take a look at the portrait looks great Almost a little Conan-y, maybe, which I don't know if I noticed on the original. Uh, I like the paint on the zipper, although it looks like on mine, it's just a tad off to the side there. You can see it doesn't quite line up on the zipper on the neck. But I see that now and will probably never think about it again. Uh, pop that helmet back on, because that's how I'm going to display him, for sure. I... I think he looks great. His boots are great. Cool looking figure. Let's see accessory wise what we've got going on with him. Uh, got the same backpack but with lots more color on it. The yellow looks awesome. If you can see whatever business this is down here with a little paint. Uh, he's got the mine. Oh, wait a minute. What? Oh, he does. He comes with two mines, but can only store one, which still makes no sense to me. So we're just going to put this mine off to the side with those uh, pads that I pulled off. Get in there. There we go. Okay. Oh yeah, backpack fits in, pegs in really, really well, and is nice and close to the uh, back of the figure. Looks good. And then plug that hose in, that same hose that does seem to be a little more flexible than some others have been. So that's a good thing, I think, because the first classified tripwire can't uh, can't really hold his. Minesweeper, mine detector, whatever, quite right. It doesn't angle really well because the, the hose keeps it from sitting in the right position. Okay, yeah, that seems a little better. Although I do still wish this was hinged. 
so you could position that a little more because it is still, it's like, I don't know. It just doesn't quite work. Like, see, that doesn't, that doesn't work. It doesn't quite work. Like there was a little miscommunication in the engineering when they were doing this figure. I kind of wish this was almost a complete loop that just went around his arm and would hold it in place because that it doesn't quite work. Uh, but from the front, he looks good. He's fine. Just don't look at how that doesn't work. Uh, so there's... Oh, he also has... This would have been his hand blaster. And I'm going to figure out a way to put that on him. Like I said, I've got holsters laying around here. I'll put one on him. Uh, I, I like that this is green. I'm sure people hate it. I like it. It works for these figures. Uh, this is the remote control for his bomb sniffing, bomb handling, whatever it is, robot McLeod, who has a Tiger Force design, and I love it. That is absolutely fantastic. So here, actually, you know what? I think what I'm going to do, because I have the other tripwire... Uh, holding that. So I think what I'm going to do with this one is clip that on there and then he's going to be controlling his robot. So that's what I'm going to do with him on the shelf. Alright, let's take a look at Roadblock. Roadblock looking big and bad. This is the heavy artillery body. Uh, I like... I do wish they'd found some different boots for him uh, that didn't have the shin guards. Uh, and I wish he didn't have this. But I get that that's what we have for big man legs with BDUs. Uh, and I do like the colors on these. I like that they've got the green and the gray. Camo's a little faded out, but again... Uh, the original Tiger Force was not consistent, so I'm okay with that because it is still very Tiger Forcey, and he's got sort of a callback. The original Roadblock Tiger Force helmet is just Tiger Stripe, black and yellow, whereas here they've worked the colors into the design of the heavy artillery helmet, and I'm I'm good with that. Oh, look at okay, so he's got the Tiger face paint. But I like the brightness of the helmet, so I'm probably going to keep that helmet on him, so you're not going to see that super well. Uh, web gear looks good. It is what it should be. Uh, he's got the gloves. The, I mean, we've we've seen all of these parts before, just not in these colors. And I'm, I really love the green and the brown and the way it's popping. Uh, okay. Oh, and he feels... Uh, uh, these all, all of these recent figures feel great. Yes, he does have the pins in his arms, but there, there are other figures in this line that have pins, so this does not bother me significantly. Okay, let's set him off to the side and take a look at his loadout. He has got a nice big backpack with Chef on it. And I will be using that backpack with him, so let's get that. And that'll help uh, hold his web gear in place, too, because his, his web gear is a little loosey-goosey. But that'll plug right in and kind of keep that where it's supposed to be. Oh, look at this. If this was uh, Mezco, those would pop open and, and uh, well, probably break, let's be honest. He has got a big, giant hand cannon. Can you say cannon? I'm going to say cannon. And that's going to go right there. I I was tempted to maybe just have him with this, just to make him significantly different, uh, or give him give him an M16 or a Sunbow rifle, maybe. Uh, 
because not every roadblock has to have a big giant gun, but then I realized every roadblock has to have a big giant, oh, I said the G word. I'm sorry, YouTube, uh, a big giant uh, cannon. Can We're going to use cannon for the rest of this review because I like it. All right, I'm going to pop that off of there. We just want to have, oh, look, we got a little tiger force on the side. I like that. So, okay, I thought that that feeds, yeah, that would feed out of there. Oh, it goes in nice and deep too, so it's got a, it's got a good fit. The only issue is I wish it was feeding out of the other side. I feel like that would make more sense, right? Maybe not, I don't know. Uh, so we'll just have that going through there. That's okay. We'll do that. I am not going to do full a full pose out with him right now because I just don't want to mess with it. We've again, we've seen most of this before. So that's as far as I'm going to get. But he's nice and big and brightly colored or or colorful. Maybe not brightly colored except for his helmet, but colorful. I am a huge fan of classified Tiger Force. I think it's a great way to do repaints. It's a great way to do store exclusives because they're not anything anybody has to have. Uh, this is what exclusives should be. And I'm thrilled to have them and can't wait to put them on the shelf with the rest of my Tiger Force stuff. Thank you for watching. Please like, subscribe, share, tell your friends about needless things. And until next time, oh, Joe. Smash that like button if you like needless things.